Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. Last episode, we did this, kind of. We tried building it on screen, I tried building it on screen, it didn't really work. Um, so there's a few cuts, but yeah, that's that. The, the Twilight Forest building my bob, which looks okay, still needs some work. But anyway, 50 episodes, hurrah, 51 now. Um, and in today's episode, I did say we'd do something a little bit more technical. You know, this is Feed the Beast, there's billions, well maybe not billions, but there's a lot of machines at our expense to use, so we should probably use them. Um, that being said, we're not actually going to use anything particularly interesting or different, because we're going to have a go at, well, we're going to have a go at making a proper house, proper building for this little enchanting station here look at this pathetic thing that's been here since i i first lived in this little little house way 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 back when you know this is just not this thing and then you have like all those buildings over there this does not fit we need its own building um so we're going to do that but also we should i I want to address the coffee, the Star Mucks, because I have been trying to work on it, you know, that all these have grown, haven't harvested them yet, but I have been, um, let's take that, no, that's fine actually, well, um, I have been working on it on the creative world, and in fact I want to show you what I've been doing on the creative world, because I'm having some problems, having some problems, and it's a bit of a mess, so if we head over there now, um, I can give you a little little demonstration of what I've done so far, what I'm trying to do, and if we can fix it. So I'll see you in the creative world. And here we are. So, this is like my rough testing world, ideas world, see what works. I mean, look, we have things like the milker here that I was testing. Uh, is that actually... Oh, it is. Is that constantly doing... Look at that, that one's full. I can probably get rid of that now. Go away. Um, milk stuff, there was, uh, I don't know what that was, you know, that was a sorting system kind of, de kind of design there, um, that was for the factory walls, I like these worlds, they're kind of like little time capsules in themselves for working out things, just out of interest, before we get onto the coffee stuff, that was a previous idea I had, that's what I kind of imagined the Twilight Forest building looking like to begin with, with a big tree on top, but it looks a bit stupid, so I gave up for that plan. Um, obviously it would be bigger than this, but it's like a little mini version. And there's the thingy, uh, you, you Matter building. So, over here, this little area here has been my coffee production ideas bit, and it's a bit of a mess. You, you can probably tell I'm not too good with redstone. Look, it's just ugly and everywhere and doesn't... That's weird, you should be connecting. There you go. And doesn't really look very nice. That's very weird. I can't break that block. What is going on there? There you go. Right. So this bit you've already seen here. This is the, the little beginning bit where we'd have the coffee powder, the stone, and the water. And that would make the, the first stage of the coffee. Then I was trying to work out how to do the rest. So let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of everything. Um, in the system. I'm actually quite impressed with this bit. We'll get onto this bit in a second. So, original go. Ready? Um, light that up. Things get sucked out. There you go. See them? Off they go. Uh, and then this should light up, this lamp here. And that tells you that it's done. That's like the first stage. There you go. First stage done because it's got a this chest. It's got a gate on there which says when there's something in there, send a redstone signal. And that sends up and along to the lamp. So that's how that works. That's kind of like a little loading screen if you want. That's like showing you how far along you are. Um, what does this one do? Would that actually work? Look, that's broken there. I don't know why that's broken. This is worrying actually because if this happens a lot, is that going to connect by itself when I do this? Yeah, okay. What that did is that sucked it out. There you go. It's sucking out the, the normal coffees and it should go up and whiz through there into the smelter and that will get cooked into dark coffee. Yeah, you gonna do that? Yep, yeah, off they go along there, put into this chest. 
dark coffee. So that's the second stage. That stage is really easy because you just smelt it. Um, and I would, if I want, I think there's a chest originally there, and that would do the same thing as that one and just show you when it was done because this light would turn on. Um, this is the this is the this was I thought was going to be the trickiest part, and actually it, it kind of is. This is really bugging me. Stop doing that. Um, so to make the final coffee, the what's it just called? Just coffee. You need your dark coffee, you need your milk, and you need your sugar. So the sugar's fine, the dark coffee's fine because it's just going to go in this chest here. Sugar is up there, and the milk is going to be the hardest part because obviously. It doesn't use the bucket, it only uses the milk. You get an empty bucket afterwards. So, in this chest here, I've got a milk bucket. And it's kind of similar to the auto cow milker. All right? When you press the button to make the final coffee, this one gets used. And then, after a little delay, thanks to those repeaters back there, it gets sucked out. See? Rest over signal, pulsar. Sucked out, through here, into the liquid transposer, um, which does the opposite of the ones in the cow milker, this one puts it into the bucket, doesn't take it out, it puts it into the bucket, and then that gets spat out back to the original chest. So let's just see this in action if it works. There is a problem however, it doesn't always work, it seems to be a little bit, no 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 no. Ah oh, okay, sorry about that, I think I just, I don't know, I might have jiggled the microphone or something and it just sounded weird, but we're back. So yeah, the auto crafting table I think is a little bit buggy it doesn't always seem to work like watch some dark coffee in there all the ingredients are here to make it sugar and the milk let's see if it does it first time a lot of the time it doesn't these ones have already been made actually let's get rid of these so we can see if there's a new one in there ready is it gonna make it okay it did make it that time and as you can see the bucket is now gone from there and it's gone through the liquid transposer it should be coming back any second now there it is so that bit which I thought was going to be quite tricky is actually very simple just a little mini loop but I'm not sure about okay so there's one left this is what I think is the problem I think when it's not in the first slot it's a bit confused let's see let's try it again see if it does it okay no it took it out it did take it out and it did do it I, it's just, you know, you want this thing to be 100%, and even though it's actually worked quite well so far, when I was testing off screen, it was not. It was definitely not. So let's try one last time with a few. Okay. Okay, no, it's actually working pretty good so far. I'm going to have to keep testing this um, to see if I can work out why it wasn't doing it sometimes and why it's doing it now um, but this is the basic obviously it's going to be a lot tidier when we do it in the proper world and I'm going to make sure it all works and stuff um, but this is the basic deal you know you've got the original coffee there you get your dark coffee here and you get your final milky coffee here uh, but um, quickly before I ramble on for too long because I want to do something else this episode these are quite cool I've just put on top of these chests that when there is an item in the inventory send out a signal um, so what that means is I can work out when it's run out because as you can see there's stone in here so it's saying yep lights on things are in the chest say if it runs out though light turns off quickly refill me I need more stock put it in light back on that's just an easy way to tell when we need to replenish the ingredients same thing with this take I think this is the opposite though uh, when there are things in there it's off and when things are out it's on see so I will add that in somewhere as well. And and in the final thing I add a dispenser for your little cookie biscotti thing as well. So that's that. This was just another little idea. Don't worry about this. Didn't work in the end anyway. But I just want to show you that I am trying to work out how it works. Um, <laughs> and how to make it work. It's just going to take some time. But we are still going to do something machinery. So let's head back into the normal world. And we are going to make an enchanting station. But with pistons and stuff it will be cool. Okay, so here we are. We're back in the uh, the overworld, away from that nasty, flat, creative mess that we're just in. And I think we're ready to start on the enchanting thing. Now, I haven't actually said what it's going to be. Or have I? I can't even remember now. But um, what I want to do is, 
kind of have a way to choose i think i have said this actually haven't i <laughs> so bad of a memory but to choose what level you want to enchant at not exactly but roughly say if you want a, a low enchant you push a few buttons or levers and you know books will or bookshelves will um push or push out of place and change the levels on the enchanting table if you get what i mean um i think we're going to make it here because you know you get levels over there at the skeleton farm so we have it quite close by and yeah you'll see what i mean when we get into it but i haven't actually said yet what we're going to use for this and it's some some pretty cool um things that are in this mod pack i'll show you ready oh just press escape by yourself computer why not try that again ready Ooh, e <gasps> this stuff oh got it ready for you Specifically this stuff here, bundled cable. This is why are you why are you whizzing around, cursor? What are you doing back there? Stop that. Stop it. Okay. My computer must be doing something or other. Bundled cable and along with it is the insulated wire. This is a really cool block in the Feed the Beast mod pack. Um I do not know what my computer is doing right now. Hopefully it isn't mucking up the recording. But I'll show you what it does. It's basically like redstone. Well, it is redstone, really, but it's redstone in a single block. It's, or, or I should say, it's various redstone signals going through the same wire. I shall set up a little demonstration, shall I? Let's do it just back here. Um, it's if you, it basically, you use this if you haven't got much space, and yet you need to send um, quite a lot of redstone signals through. Uh, so this will, this will be just a rough demonstration of what I mean. Let's do that. It, go, it goes a little bit glitchy there, you see. But we'll ignore that. Don't worry about that. And you can do the different redstone signals by using different colours of the insulated wire. So let's choose red, yellow and green. And we will use... Let's use some sticky pistons as an example. <clears throat> My voice is running out once again, you know, as it always does when I record. Like that. And some levers. So, this is actually really clever. I don't know how it does it, but it does. So let's say we only wanted the green piston to go on. Look at that. Isn't that clever? It's going through that and only coming out that way, even though it's going through one block. Oh, well, it's not now, but it was. There you go. Say if you want the yellow one. There you go. Turn the green one off. Still working. It's all individual, but it goes through the same wire. So you can save on a ton of space doing it this way. I just think that's really cool. Very clever stuff. I don't know how they do that. I really don't. Some sorcery with the code. But yeah, it's a really nice little feature and we're going to use that for the enchanting table because what we're going to have is multiple pistons and um, pushing bookshelves into place. So, I've kind of got this already figured out. I did it in the creative world. I'm not sure if I showed it back there. So it may be quite a short episode, I don't know, we'll have a look. Having said that, it could all go horribly, horribly wrong. For example, I haven't even made the bookshelves yet. I, I broke them, I didn't make them again, that's silly. Uh, luckily, there's not really a shortage of wood, thanks to our lovely little tree farm over there. Okay. Oh man, my inventory is just full. Uh, you go away. So I should have around about 15 books here, bookshelves, 16 maybe, I don't know. We need quite a bit. I think you need 15 to do a full level 30 enchant, so what's that? We need more wood. Oh, go away zombie flesh, I don't want you. Just while I'm quickly making this, I will say. Um, the UHC, do you know I made a little UHC practice preparation video a few days ago? We've actually recorded it now. Ooh, spoilers, or <laughs> it's not spoilers or anything. Um, so that should be coming up soon. I won't say how I did. I won't say anything about it. I say I had fun, but nothing else. My lips are sealed. Hmm, being very mysterious. And annoying, probably. <laughs> so, let's put down the pistons first, and I'll show you how this is going to work. Um... Let's just do it here. This probably will get moved, actually. In fact, definitely. Because uh, I I kind of want it to be like a library. Let's just do that. Yeah, like a, a library. 
because it would fit in with the bookshelves and we could have some cool stairs going around the side and some chandeliers maybe I think that would look quite cool so that's going to extend to there which means the enchanting table should be there right let's put you there oh come on now uh, there that's right and that means that books would be there but they have to be here we're going to have three on the back and two on either side now that isn't actually 15 or rather 4 uh, 4, 4 and 6 that only adds up to uh, 14 but we're going to have some sneaky little bookcase there which isn't going to retract that's just going to always be there um, although having said that I want another one there now to make it balanced oh I didn't make another one oh damn alright uh, jump cut Haha, -ha, magically, a bookshelf appears in my hand, which is going to go right there. Uh, I just realised now, I've actually forgot to put the pistons behind this one, which is going to be a bit tricky to do now, because I have to get them facing the right way. Come here. Oh, you stupid... Oh! Hmm. This is a problem with bookshelves, is that they, they don't actually drop properly. And you give you the stupid books. I don't want the books, I want the whole thing. Can I do it like... There you go, and on there, and on there. Now this is definitely not going to be the best enchanting system, especially not in Feed the Beast. Um, come on, yes. I've seen people do auto enchanting systems, like a machine that actually enchants for you, especially because you can have the brain in a jar, I think it's called, there you go, which collects up XP for you if you are if you put it near a mob spawner or a mob trap or something and you can just punch it and get loads of XP. Um, people have used those and computer craft and all that sort of stuff to work out how to do auto enchanting of books and it's just crazy. Um, I've got to say though, I don't I don't know if I quite like that. It's a bit... One of the things I really like about enchanting is you you never know what you're gonna get. You know, you go up to it, you're gonna you're gonna click, you're gonna get the right level you want, you're gonna click it and it may be a really really great one or it may be a really sucky one like Bane of Arthropods. Um, you don't know, and it kind of takes away from that if you have it all done by computers, I think. So I don't think we're going to go with that. Um, so that's going to be that. I just brought these blocks along as well, just for some decoration. Because it can go like that, I guess. Uh, yeah, something like that. Maybe some there as well. Yeah. So that's got onto the wiring. This is going to be the tricky part, because... Well, it's not exactly tricky, but I'll show you what how I'm going to use the different colours of the wool. and um, Well, not the wool. What's it called? Be uh, insulated wire. That's it. And how it's all going to work together. So let's use some cobble. And let's go around the back here like this. In fact, is it going to have to go one back further? Oh, yeah, by the way, we're going to use repeaters on these because the repeater will power both the top and the bottom one because it powers that way. And it powers down and across to that one. Very nice. In fact, they are going to have to come out one more. So it's going to be quite bulky, this thing, unfortunately. Um, but we can we can always hide it with the bookshelves and the library plan and stuff like that. So it's not too much of a problem. If you're wondering why I'm adding like a... Oh, hello. Uh, why I'm adding like an extra block around, it's because we need a space to output the colour of the insulated wire, if I show you what I mean for example that's that, then you have to have the colour then you have to have the bundled cable so it does stretch out quite far back, which does suck but no one will see it, so we're alright well you'll see it, you're watching this right now, damn plan ruined is that right? that ain't right is it? Oh, it sure is. It sure is. <laughs> All right. Like that. Yeah, that'll do. So let's put down some of this cable. It's a bit glitchy. Like, it doesn't sometimes connect. Like you saw with the, the red alloy wire. Sometimes it kind of breaks, but it's still there. I don't know why it does that. I hope it doesn't do it for this. I think once it updates or it gets a signal and has to update, it fixes itself. Hopefully. Okay. 
So that's the bundle cable. Let's get the colours on. Let's get the blue, let's get the red. So let's start with red. It can be that side. So these two to there is red. Oh, and well, I should say the levers are going to go on these blocks. There, there, and there, there. So that's red. Do that lever, those two will come out. Then we're going to have yellow, which is only going to do these two. Or is it the other way around? It may be the other way around. Doesn't really matter, but we'll put yellow only in the middle. So that's only going to push out this middle section. Because I think that that does another stage, like another uh, tier of level enchants. If you just have two come out. I think I tested this, but I may have got it completely wrong. But there's yellow. Uh, then we'll have blue for the other two. And then we'll have green on this side. Oh, have I forgot the... I have the repeaters. And green on this side. And we can have green and blue there. So... This should all now work. So if I pull this lever, it should only affect that repeater. Oh, oh no, no, it won't now. Uh, there, let's have a look. Ready? Yellow. Yes, look at that. Excellent. Oh, that's cool. Do the others ready? Red. Yellow. Blue. Green. And then you get your level. Oh, I can't enchant that. Uh, what can I enchant? Nothing. Oh boy. Let's just go get a tool just to look at what levels are available at which stage of the thing. Yeah, I did say it wouldn't be very technical with the blocks and the machines. It's not. It's, it's mostly vanilla stuff to be honest. Um, let's enchant. Yeah, why not? Uh... Yeah, it's not using any particularly fancy redstone or anything. It's just a bundle cable, just some sticky pistons and some repeaters. Very, very plain, very simple, but it does get the job done to a certain extent. Uh, so, all 30 out should be... Uh, all, all 30, all 14 out should be... There you go, a level 30. So there's that. So let's do... Let's reset them all. I wish I could have a master reset. I don't know how I'd do that actually. Hmm. But a master reset would be quite good. Or the opposite, a master set. Which would be go straight to level 30 without having to do that. But can't be too lazy now, can I? Um So what do we get with just those two? It goes up to level six. Hmm. If I wanted level one, oh there there it is, there it is. That might be quite tricky. So nothing, the highest seems to be 9, 10, 10, 10. So right, so you don't do anything, you get 10. You do the first stage, you get up to 16. We we'll do the average, shall we? What are you going to get most of the time? 12, 13, 14, 15. So maybe 12 to, we'll say 12 to 15 for this first stage. Second stage. 16, 17, 19. Okay, that's about 16 to 19. I haven't seen a 20 yet. I'm sorry for the clicking. 18 there. So that's kind of like just past 15. 15 to 18, we'll say. Blue. This should kick it up quite a bit. Yeah, now you get to 24. 24, 25. So there is no kind of 20 spot. That may be a bit of a problem if you wanted like 21, 22. We've completely missed that. That goes up to 25. Um, I wonder if we did the opposite. What if what if it was just those two? What would it be then? 23. Ah. Okay. Okay, so actually we should probably... Oh, I've just confused myself now. So... Those two give you around about 20. And what lever was that? This one? No. That one. Hmm. Yeah. We should probably swap these in. Because I'm kind of working from left to right here. So it goes from lowest to highest that way. So we should probably swap the blue and yellow. 
Let's put the blue this side. Uh, blue. And yellow on that side. So, that's... Is it all off? We're all off. Okay, so that's good. So now we go from... Is that still right? Yeah, I think so. Then this should be around about 20. Mm, sword? 17. What the hell? 15. Maybe not then. How did I just get 20? Oh, because that side was on. Whoops. Whoops, okay. Yeah, there you go. Then you get 20, 21. And then when you put this side on, then you should get maybe 22, 23, what not. Yeah, 25, so that's mid-20s. And then finally, last stage, here's obviously level 30. So you have kind of got all the all the bases covered. you got nothing to 6. And you got kind of 6 to 12 with that one. Um... What was it then? These two was kind of 15 to 20. That one with all three is 20 mid-20s, 23, 24, 25, and then that one, level 30. That's pretty good. I'd say that's quite balanced. Um, and obviously afterwards we'd have to dress this place up, but we will probably do that next time. There's not enough time now. I did babble on quite a bit about the coffee and all that stuff, as I usually do. But I do quite like the... The bundle cables. I think we'll put signs here. Oh, not that. We will put signs there saying... I did actually bring some, didn't I? I did. Saying what level. So that would be, for example, level... Or lil. Whoops. Something like... Um, with that one on. Maybe on the signs put the rough, the rough range. So with the first one you get maybe... I can't remember now. Was it like 6 to 12... Not 21, oh blimey. To 12. And then for that one you'd put... I can't remember the exact numbers now, but for example you'd put level... 12 to 16, say. And so you'd know to put those two on. Or put these ones on. I'm just waffling now, I'm sure you get what I've done here. It is very bulky. What I could do... There might be ways to make that smaller. Maybe do it underground. But actually, we could just put the stairs above this. Like, have some stairs going over it. <laughs> well, not there. But you know what I mean. Like that. And just cover it completely. And then it could go to, like, a, a nice little balcony or something. If I do want this to be a library, however, it would have to be quite big. And there isn't really much space here. Maybe that side would be better. I'm thinking, yes, you've got all that space there. So we might flip this over to there. Possibly. But yeah. I like it. It's simple. Nothing too complicated there. I mean, if anyone does have any suggestions for that, how to make it cooler. Whoops. Sorry about that. Just a little knock at my door. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yes. If you have any suggestions for how to make that better, or anything at all, I actually think it's quite a decent use of the, the bundled cable. Because imagine having to wire every line of these individually around this thing. It would take up so much space. Even with the fancy red alloy wire, that would still take up a lot of space. Um, going underneath and over stuff. So, I, I, And it's just always nice to try out the new blocks in the Feed the Beast mod pack. Um... Anything else to add to that? I can't remember now. I really wanted to get more of it built today, but <laughs> that plan failed, as always. Um, I will remind you, though, uh, I did upload a world download last episode for a special, you know, 50th episode in the series thing. So if you do want to have a little look around, um, uh, build stuff. I mean, I always like it when people... Like build on top of existing buildings uh, for for advice. So I don't know if you if you if you play for I mean you have to. That's the thing I was worried about. Just a quick tangent. That's the thing I was worried about. Is if like how would world downloads work with Feed the Beast because it's relatively simple with vanilla Minecraft. But for this mod pack, 
well, it's, it, the fact it is a mod pack, can world world downloads still be done? Uh, uh, something's telling me they can't actually. Maybe I should have researched that more before uploading it. But if you can download my world and play it, then I would highly appreciate any kind of tips or suggestions or stuff um, that you can do with it. But that's only if you can, because actually thinking about it, I did actually change the mod pack. I added advanced solar panels by myself. That's not actually in the Diabolf 20 pack. So I don't know what it would have said if you tried to download it. Hmm. Crap. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, I am rambling now, so I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, next time... Why do I keep saying next time? I don't know what I'm going to do next time. I don't have this big old plan. Let's have a quick look at the notice board, maybe. Next time, we're going to... That can go now, actually. I tell you what I really want to do soon is take on the Ender Dragon. Get rid of markers, pretty make proper storage area. Man, I don't know what to do. Street lamps? Street lamps might be a good idea to do. Maybe that, but no promises. <laughs> so until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.